everybody, it's Teresa. I um, just got back from my afternoon at my surgeon's office and I have a surgery day and I can't believe that this is happening fast. But since I'm self-pay, they're calling it fast track is what they call it. So it's like I have on the 11th, I have um, a full day of doing my labs and seeing, doing the psych appointment and then my second dietitian appointment and the uh, before, what's it called, meeting with the um, physician assistant for the pre-surgery. Because my surgery date is the 18th, oh my god, the 18th, the 18th, July 18th, I can't believe it. I mean, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time, it's a few years, then I'll back out, I wasn't ready yet, but I've been ready, learned so much from everybody in the community here, and man, I went in there and I knew what he was talking about, and we talked for a while, and I love, it's Ronnie Keith in Norman, Oklahoma, he's awesome, good, really good surgeon, that I've, a lot of good a lot of good recommendations on them, um, but July 18th, so, and because we're doing it quick, I don't have to do all the, you know, the, I don't have, I don't have to do the 10 day fasting and all that, it's just three days, they crammed it to three days of liquids before the surgery, so, and I, my, my weight today, and this is going to be my starting weight, is 216.4. And I want to get down to about, realistically, and I'm 5'3", and my 5'3", um, I'm looking at like 140, 135, 140, but, so I'm 216 now. And I've been at this weight for 15 years, and I'm up and down within 20, 30 pounds, but it's been stuck here for a long time, so... But number one reason why I'm doing it is to cure or put this diabetes in uh, and get it out of me. Kind of just put it in uh, remission. So I want to get healthy. I want to start doing the marathons again. And I'm excited. I just can't thank everybody enough out here for all the, in the community, for all the awesome information that y'all share and the support and the love and the and I'm I'm wanting to give it back to you so but 18th anyway that's I was talking to there was a lady that was getting a surgery she was getting her and I'm getting a lap band with application which is where they um, it's like um, where they fold your stomach in it's like the sleeve but it's not the sleeve, but your stomach become it's folded into itself to where it's like a, like a gastric sleeve, except they don't cut your stomach off. They're um, it's reversible if it needed to be, and uh, but you might Google it. It's the plication the the lap band with plication. He's done like 200 of them so far, and I guess it's, this procedure has been out the last few years, but he's done 200 of them so far, and he's, like, they've all been very successful. Actually, there's, the weight loss is quicker, like, more like the, the gastric bypass, because uh, there's no food sitting in your stomach after it goes through the band. It just, your stomach is smaller, and it, you end up losing quicker, which, fast or not, I don't think that's okay, but Anyway, that's when I'm getting done, and um, there was a lady next to me in the waiting room that was, she had a lap band, and she, um, bless her heart, she was getting it removed, so I'm like starting to freak out in there, going, oh, because I'm looking at all the stories, you know, looking at all the negative stories is still a fraction of a, a number of, compared to what the good stories are, so I need to concentrate on the good stories, because the the side effects and all that stuff. I mean, the bad stories are not that many. And I unfortunately had to sit next to somebody that was getting it removed. But she said that 
she was self-paying and she paid the same amount that I'm paying for this surgery and it included the flight and everything to Mexico. And she had it done in Mexico and they didn't put it in correctly and it had scooted up and she had been vomiting for the last several years, once a day at least, and she's just been miserable and has gained some of her weight back and she just sounded miserable, but it was due to they didn't surgically install it correctly. Um, so that was so sad. So I was starting to get nervous, you know. But then talking to the doctor, he, you know, reassured me. He's like, even, and I, all of them, all the ladies that I talked to in there, you know, I'm like, for real? I mean, nobody's had trouble, and you know, with this, especially not just the band, but the placation. And they're like, success stories, all we've had with those. It's been wonderful. And I would do it if I had to have the surgery. I would do that. And, um, you know, he said he'd been 200 of them, 200 plus, and every one of them have been successful. And uh, so it made me feel better. I pray, I'm going to put in a, a prayer for, I didn't even get her name, but I know who, I know her face, and I pray for her. And uh, her surgery is Friday. She got it. He, was, he said that, or she said that the doc said that's the worst case he's ever seen that he had to fix. He's had to fix a lot of bands that, you know, were f not put in right. And he said that was the worst one that he had seen is what she told me. So he was hurrying up and getting her. Here it is Wednesday, Friday. She had surgery date, day after tomorrow. That's how bad it was. So bless her heart. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Like, I'm just excited. So, um, I know the feeling now, y'all. Whenever y'all had your your uh, news so anyway I'll let y'all go and I'll talk to you later God bless